I won't try to preach in my mask, but the mask is a sign of the time. The fact that I come to you initially wearing a mask reminds us that we are all in this together. We are all bearing burdens. We are all struggling from day to day. We all need a message of hope on this Easter day. I invite you to pray with me. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. Maybe you feel trapped, like you can't breathe, like you are all alone, like you have no one with whom to talk. Feeling that way helps me to put myself in the shoes of the first disciples. The normal Easter reading for the Gospel of John, chapter 20, on Easter Day, ends with Mary Magdalene going to tell the disciples that she had seen the Lord. I want to expand that reading by reading the next verses, and you'll understand why as soon as I read these verses. Beginning at verse 19. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. And then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you receive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. This adds to the Gospel of the Lord on Easter Day. I feel like those early disciples locked away in a house, locked up in a house. Now, to be sure, the circumstances are vastly different. I'm locked away with my family to keep everyone healthy and to lessen the burden on healthcare workers. The disciples are locked away for fear that the temple authorities or the Roman soldiers will arrest them and maybe crucify them. So I am locked in my house while in the gospel narrative, the disciples are locked away in their house. Okay, at the moment, I'm not locked in my house, but I am locked in the church. The doors are locked to keep me from interacting with anyone who might make me sick, or that I might make sick. Two things to notice about the gospel lesson. The disciples are behind locked doors to keep themselves safe, and they are afraid. But the crucial thing that happens to the disciples is that Jesus appears despite the locked doors. Jesus tells them, peace be with you. There are so many lessons to take from today's gospel lesson. Jesus rose from the dead. Jesus first appeared to a woman. Women were an important part of Jesus' ministry. Jesus is ascending to God the Father. Jesus will send out the disciples. Jesus has triumphed over death. What I take away from this gospel reading in these strange times is that Jesus appears through locked doors in a time of fear. Jesus does not knock on the door and ask to be let in. Jesus appears when needed in the midst of fear. The psalm says this, Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in the land of the dead, you are there. No matter where you may be locked away, Jesus can find you. No matter how alone you may be feeling, Jesus is with you. However much stress you may be under, and I know that the stress is very real, Jesus is there to help carry your burdens. 
We remember this promise from Matthew's Gospel, the 11th chapter. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. As Jesus brought peace to the disciples, so Jesus offers us peace. Jesus took the disciples out of the locked house and sent them into the world. In a few short decades, Christianity would spread to every part of the world. We are never locked away from Jesus. Today, on this Easter, on this Easter, we are locked in, but Jesus is with us. Jesus is reaching out to send out into the world each of us with a message of love. Maybe this week, not to be sent out physically, but maybe to send ourselves out by phone, maybe by letter, maybe by FaceTime, maybe by an email, maybe by taking messages in a bottle and throwing them into the sea. However, Jesus sends us into the world. We are never alone, and we are always loved. The Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Amen.